I offer my candidature for the presidency of Kenya in the year 2013. Bonjour tout le monde, welcome to Free Canada TV. My name is Jane Nyoike. We are at uh, Model Afrique in Canada, Montreal, where the Kenyan diaspora gathered to review the presidential beat speech by Honorable Peter Kenneth, held on 4th of November at 12 p.m. Kenyan time at the KCC building. And this is what the Kenyan diaspora in Canada had to say. Today, the 4th of November marks the start of the journey, the journey that will liberate our country. Peter Kenneth is the man for the job. Not a man for the job, the man for the job. We need someone like Peter Kenneth, a clean man, a responsible man, a man with a vision and a mission to make Kenya a developed nation. We've been lucky to have people who are strong-willed, who are intelligent, who are learned, right? But it comes a point whereby, you know, in politics we need new input, especially when new and energized individuals who still have the energy, the strength, the, mot the, mot in, you know, the motivity to, to push or to encourage young ones. When I mean young ones, forget about me, I mean about my kids now and their, their age to go on. When I look at it, we, we've been blessed now for President Kibaki. Okay? Uh, this is a guy who took our economy from negative. Even if it's a small, it's a slim positive, it's a direction to go. Vision 2030, if we stick on it, and Peter Kenneth is actually uh, committed to it. All I want right now is Kenyans to work hard and be honest so that with the, the working hard and praying to God, everything will happen our way. We've also seen recently that the medics have taken to the streets. I feel for them. I know they took the Hippocratic oath, but they are frustrated. They are in hospitals, but they are not able to take care of the patients. And when they take to the streets, it's the poor who suffer. I study at the University of Nairobi School of Medicine. Currently in my fifth year, I'm about to graduate. And I was here for an elective term at the Jewish General Hospital, which is affiliated to McGill. So I am currently just here for a semester. But so far, I found um, great differences between the healthcare system here in Canada and in Kenya back at home. And a lot needs to be done. We need visionary leadership, someone who will really um, take Kenya forward in the right way. And we need to really improve our services. I think the, the right person for that job is Peter Kenneth, because he sort of embodies the, 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 the principles, the same principles Obama has. Peter Kenneth, we saw, is a family man, the same way um, Obama is. His son spoke during his um, presidential bid. And there, there are very many similarities between Peter Kenneth and Obama. So I think Peter Kenneth will definitely do a great job in turning Kenya around. I'm in a very unique position to ensure there is no tribalism and that every Kenyan will feel proud under my leadership to feel proud to be a Kenyan. We need a fresh mind. We need someone who's not uh, thinking about, oh, well, what are you, a Kikuyu, a Kambar, a Embu Ameru, a Luya, a Luo, whatever. No, those days for us, it's gone. And we were blessed to have uh, people who created that foundation. But most of them, they didn't teach us much. They actually taught us that, you know, uh, a lot of, not good stuff, I'm not going to mention it, but for me, Peter Kenneth, he's a person actually that will create or will give us a new age of a presidential thing. He was not involved in this violence that we had in 2008. His track record is perfect. If you look at the statistics in Kenya, Peter Kenneth is the one who has the highest CDF use the perfect CDF use in, his, in the kitty. Look at the rest of the places. I will use my constituency as an example, where my grandmother comes from, that's Tetu. 
If you look at the state of the roads, they are the same ever since I was born. Huge potholes, no development, nothing at all. Yet we have an MP who's been there for ages and ages. But where is the money? Where do we see this leader? They're not visionary. All they want is to benefit themselves. A leader has to have the interest of the place where they are leading, of the people at heart. That's their first benefit. I'll give an example of a book that I read that's known as Good to Great by Jim Collins. He gives examples of level five leaders. And these are leaders who have humility and professional will, meaning that they put the interests of their companies first. They do not care whether their salary is the same as the rest of the employees, as long as the company succeeds. That's what I see Peter Kenneth as. And as a youth of Kenya, I'm proud to see that we have such people, people who are ready to give Kenya a clean start for us to develop. That's what we need. At the end of the day, even though we're in Canada, we are still Kenyans at heart. Our roots are still there. Our family is still there. Mm -hmm. And we will support whoever will give our people back at home a better life, a better country. He's the right person for the job right Why? now. Because um, we are at a time where we have seen it all. We've seen the same faces over and over again since the time I was born. It's the same people who've been in parliament making the same rules. They just always increase their salaries in parliament. Nothing really seems to move forward in Kenya. We need something different. And Peter Kenneth is young. And 50% of Kenya's population is the youth. They're under 35. So for him, this is his time. And I think he can make it. Peter, I wish you success. Right now, the message I would like to pass to all other Kenyans in Canada for Peter Kenneth is a support with positivity to the leader that God himself will have chosen for Kenya. I will encourage my other Kenyan friends in the diaspora, maybe in Canada, in the, actually in the U.S. because there's plenty of them. I'd say PK is a man to go for. Think about it. To nice make. And that's what we will hold. As a Kenyan, I'm proud to say I'm voting for Peter Kenneth, and he will become the next president of Kenya. We'll meet Vision 2030 in 2020. It's not about who your parents were. It's not about the color of your skin. It's not about how much money you can give the Kenyans. It's about what you can do for the country. That is what matters at the end of the day. And my plea for Kenyans is think about that. Don't think... We've had so many Kikuyu presidents, we cannot bring in another one. What if the other president you want to bring in doesn't, doesn't have any vision for you? What are you going to do for the next five years? It's not about that candidate who gives you 500 shillings during the campaign period. What about the rest of the five years? Are you going to live on 500 shillings? No. It's not about how long they've been on that chair. It's not about the experience because a leader is born and they'll always be a leader. Once born, you'll forever be a leader. So no matter how young they are or how old they are, as long as they were born leaders with a vision for you to be a better country, go for that person. So vote for Peter Kenneth.